Now to the latest on H1N1 and new figures showing a four-fold increase in its death toll. On Monday, we reported on the early show that the number of deaths blamed on the flu outbreak was being underreported. Well, now the latest figures from the CDC show more than 4,000 Americans have died after coming down with H1N1. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. We had this whole conversation on Monday right. about this only a certain number of states were reporting, and that's what the CDC was saying. Is this a result of getting a full understanding of how many deaths have actually occurred because of H1N1? Well, they've, they've had two different systems they're looking at, Harry. This comes down to an accounting issue, and it's very similar to exit polling during an election. Mm. At the time that the flu became widespread in August 30th, the CDC gave each state the option of tracking confirmed H1N1 deaths or reporting them under an umbrella of flu complications, mm. general flu, and mm -hmm. pneumonia. About 30 states roughly decided to confirm H1N1 deaths. The CDC all along has been using computer models to track these deaths because that is actually more, more accurate than looking at individual numbers. So when we hear this number of 4,000 then this morning, right. we should be surprised or understand that this is probably somewhere in a predictable range? Predictable range. They have expected this based on their models. Again, confirming H1N1 deaths is very time consuming, takes a lot of resources, and may not be as accurate at the, as these computer models. So that's what they're going on. And in general, you should not focus on the actual number, just trends. That's what's important. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much. You bet.